Alabama already clinched the SEC West, so now it's time to stay focused and remain unbeaten. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com. Welcome to the College Football Preview Show presented by Tyson Anytizers, the third-ranked team in the nation on the road this week at Mississippi State. CBS Sports' Spencer Tillman joins us uh, to break this down. And, Spence, you know, when you talk about Alabama and you talk about all the emotion getting ready for LSU last week and winning that grueling game, how tough is it the next week to continue to stay focused. Well, listen, that's one thing that Nick Saban does. He is a master of human behavior, and he knows how to get those guys focused. He's kind of invoked a 24-hour rule where he allowed them to celebrate. That was a huge win. Obviously, they clinched the West. That was the earliest or soonest that any team has done it in the history of this 12-team uh, this, uh, format, this championship uh, format. So that was special. You let them celebrate, then you get back on the horse, and you ride a little bit longer. I think this team is so focused right now. They do have a couple of uh, glaring errors on the offensive side of the ball that they'll get fixed. But right now, nobody's more focused in Alabama, Jason. Well, that's true, but they're going to a team at Mississippi State, Spence, that is coming off a bye before that, yeah. won at Kentucky, and it really has nothing to lose here. They can play pretty loose. How dangerous is that situation? Well, it would be dangerous if it were three weeks ago when Alabama was needing a break and they didn't have their bye week. Alabama, the, week, the, the team you saw last week, was a fresh team that was coming off a bye. They're vulnerable if you get them before then. Right now, they're rejuvenated. They've had a chance to look at their offense, particularly at their quarterback position, and get him settled down a little bit. Anthony Dixon, the running back for Mississippi State, is the way you're going to attack them. But you know what? That strong defensive front with Terrence Cody in the middle of it, I would not, I don't care if I had Herschel Walker and, you know, <laughs> Bo Jackson doing those glory years, I wouldn't want to face those guys. They're that strong. And so their weakness happens to be a strength for Alabama. Well, Alabama's second in the nation in rush defense. Mississippi State, 65% of the offensive plays this year have been runs uh, with this yeah. new Dan Mullen offense. So what type of wrinkles should we expect here for him to come up with against this Alabama defense? Well, listen, there are no wrinkles with this defense because you know what? They are who they are. And Mississippi State, as you just outlined with the numbers, are who they are. Uh, Anthony Dixon's over 1,000 yards. Why would you try to do anything different? You have to run the ball, but what you have to do is attack the edges and get that speed defense running. What you want to look for is lanes and alleys back across the grain. He is an inline runner as Dixon. He'll find some holes, but again, he can't expect to just go straight at this defensive unit. you got to get them moving side to side because they are aggressive, and you can find creases and seams back against the grain. That's really the only way to tackle them, and it's going to allow their offensive line to get the kind of angles on their linebackers to, to pop some holes to get him running vertically down the football field. All right, Spence, one last thing here with Alabama. We talked uh, ad nauseum the last three, four weeks about Greg McElroy and some of the inconsistencies he's had. What did you think out of the LSU game? Was it better or worse? Well, I think he was better. I mean, you know, he completed 19 passes and nearly 300 yards passing. I thought he was solid. You know, the interception factor was not a problem as it was in the weeks where he started to falter a little bit in terms of his mechanics. Uh, some of those pass attempts were just not there in those previous games when he was struggling. Uh, but clearly, the game plan helped him. I think the brilliant thing they did is they took some shots downfield to set up their run game for the second half, Jason. And to me, that really loosened the quarterback up. When the running game got going, that took pressure off your quarterback, and all of a sudden, McElroy was able to, to relax a little bit and deliver those passes on time with the efficiency that defined his game through week one through week four. All right, Spence, uh, last year Alabama won 32-7. to The two years before that, Mississippi State won those two games. Any chance yeah. they pull the upset here? No chance for the upset. Alabama's going to continue to roll for that, that meet, meeting in destiny with uh, their eastern brother in Florida for the SEC championship. Uh, Alabama's going to win this one going away. Well, if that's the case, then that uh, winner-take-all gets to the uh, BCS championship game as well. Spencer T., thank you very much. We'll talk to you soon. All right, Jason. We'll see you, buddy. All right, folks, and don't forget uh, Alabama and Mississippi State, part of the SEC. And whatever SEC game you see on CBS, you could also see on CBS Live, uh, CBS Sport, uh, SEC Live, excuse me, CBSSports.com slash SEC Live is the space to go this weekend. It's a doubleheader. It's Tennessee at Ole Miss and Florida, South Carolina. It all gets going at noon Eastern. For Spencer Tillman, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.